Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we're going to be continuing our let's play of Celasta the Lost Valley where we left the last time we had just left the um, secret facility, the magic research complex. We couldn't get the portal working, I think that's part of a different quest that we can't do anymore because we went a different path. That being said, we walked outside, Rose Fairwind jumped out at us and was like, thank you for saving the prisoners and uh, putting an end to the experiments, so we've done that. It wasn't a very lengthy or impressive conversation, so you didn't miss anything of value. But that being said, we did get 2,000 experience for doing so. And now, we can do our leveling up. Because we did get our level, which is nice. So we get improved Divine Smite, we get an extra 1d8 radiant damage. Oh! Whenever you hit a creature with a melee weapon, the creature takes an additional 1d8 radiant damage, whether or not you're spending a spell slot to smite, which is amazing. That's super good. Anyways, we're done with him. Cleric level 11, sixth spell or sixth level spell now, and we get turn undead destroy. We haven't fought a lot of undead recently, so I'm not too concerned about that. Let's take a look at our level six spells. All right, we have blade barrier. We could have blade barrier. We don't have to have blade barrier. We could get heal instead and hero's feast. Yeah, we're gonna get that too. Uh, let's get rid of a spell that we don't use very often, like what's that? Oh, it's a domain spell, that's why we have it. I see. Uh, let's get rid of Inflict Wounds. We don't use it very often, we've only ever used it once, and it barely worked. Let's get Hero's Feast. We got Heal and Hero's Feast. I'm just gonna get... We're gonna remove Bane, we're also gonna take True Seeing. That's a lot of level 6 spells. We don't actually have that many spell slots. No, maybe not True Seeing. <laughs> Revivify is actually pretty good. You know what, let's grab that. Alright. Uh, let's level up our Warlock. Choose one spell of the specified level from the Warlock spell list of this Arcanum, and we can cast it once without spending a spell slot. Okay, fine. We get a Mystic Arcanum. Oh, we get an Invocation as well. Um, or we can get a new Invocation. We're not going to. I got the ones I want. Our Unlearned Spell situation. We have level 5 spells. I don't think there's any spells we want to get rid of, so we're going to ignore that one. Now we can learn a spell that we can cast once without using a spell slot, apparently. True Sight, we don't really need because we have Devil Sight. Eye Bite. Your eyes gain a special property which can target a creature each turn. Like what? Asleep, Panic, or Sickened. Okay, Conjure a Fae, we can make a Fae come and help us. Circle of Death, Necrotic Damage to people in the circle. I'm going to take that one. Circle of Death is pretty cool. Uh, class Spell, we get a new one. Um, yeah, what do I want? Is Memory Touch melee only? Yeah. Sure, I have a bit of there. It's pretty early in the morning still. I don't know what I want. I don't know if it'll even matter. Script Spider Climb or something. It doesn't make a difference. Rogue gets reliable talent. Whenever you make an ability check that lets you add your proficiency bonus, you can treat a d20. Roll of 9 or lower as a 10. Hooray! Alright, we're moving on. Let's go to the swamp. Man, that music just swelled like crazy loud. All right, uh, resume. Forge camp. We can turn in a bunch of the quests there. We also can do the giant who's back at the other place. And then I think we're pretty much set to go fight Oranetis. I think we're pretty much at the end of the game. And then we got to pick a new game. Actually, I have two games I want to start, so I know which games we're going to do next after the series. Thank you for coming, my friends. What news, Hasdrubal? Things have been heating up in the valley, and Oranetis seems quite upset. Well, yes. He doesn't like upstart newcomers, apparently. We found a heavily protected building deep in the swamps. Oranetis' best troops are stationed there. We just did According to our contacts in town, it's where he conducts his most secret experiments. Let's go. It's time we got some answers. Answers to what? The question of whether our beloved Lord Protector 
is really a protector or something more sinister. The forge is with you. We'll take all the blessings we can get. We've already done this. What are we supposed to do here? Due to your change of relations with the Rebellion faction, some of your quests have been automatically cancelled. Okay, what quests do we actually have left? Okay, we have to go back to that place. Go attack that and do the giant thing. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess we're just going to go right back to where we were. Just to complete, quote unquote, the quest. Then come back again. I like how it's question marked off again, like we weren't just there two days ago, murdering our way through it. I wonder what we need to do to set off this quest. I guess the uh, rebellion doesn't love us anymore. Oh well. It wants us to explore. The complex. We'll just quick travel through the whole thing then, I guess. What a weird situation. Why would that quest pop up now? Bizarre. Anyways, whatever. It'll be fine. It's probably gonna have something to do with like the downstairs area, so let's just hit the elevator. I'm gonna guess, like, the big heavy hitter rooms are gonna be the Dark Laboratory for sure. And maybe the... Like, the isolation room, maybe? I don't know. The generator won't work now. Why is the gen... whatever. Don't care. Dark Laboratory, that's probably where we need to go. We might have broken the game too. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it done. Prepare and activate the mana things. Apparently, it undid them for us. It doesn't work. We must repair the generator. Wait, we had these going before we left. They're still technically working. Maybe they're not. It doesn't work. We must repair the generator. I don't know what's going on. It's possible we've broken this quest by doing it early and leaving them running. Maybe I should have... I might have to reload a little bit. Uh, hang tight, I'll be back in two minutes when we get back to this point. We're going to have to re-level our characters, that's fine. I think I need to not have the generator going. When I leave, I'll just keep the pieces. Eh, maybe we can fix it really quick. It won't take too long. Okay. Then we'll relevel our characters super fast, and then we'll be done. So we're going back in. We need to... Get the pieces... So that we can repair the generators later. Because I think what happens is that... We had these things running, right? We left. We came back. The game was like, well, they can't be running because otherwise the quest would be done already, so they must not be running. Reset them to not be running. But didn't reset the fact that we didn't have the pieces for to repair them anymore. And so... We glitched out the quest. But if we go back in, shut them down, have the pieces on us, leave, go talk to Hazardabal, come back then we'll be golden. I think it'll work. I think that's our goal. Because if we go there now, mana generator one, I think is... No. Okay, fine. Go here. I don't care. 
yeah, they're running now. But when we come back, they're not, which means that the game breaks them for the quest trigger, right? The but it, won't work it doesn't set that for the generator fragments, so we just have a we have two broken generators, no pieces to fix them. All right, this is gonna be fine. We got this. Oh, silly programming. I'll sleep. Now we can go pick up the quest, come back, restart them, which I think is what we need to do. I don't know what else we're supposed to do though. Why are we why are we restarting these generators? I guess we'll find out. What a weird situation though, right? Breaks the game. Uh let's just go no. No, 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 no. Wrong one. Just go here, please. We're gonna have to re-level up. But that's fine. We can get that done too on our way back to the area. All right, back to the swamp. We'll quickly level up on the way, and we'll be done. Oh, come on. I don't want to fight hags. We're going to reload and try that again. That's a big army. Could we just get to the point where I can reload? Thank you. Where am I reloading to? Should have saved before. The traveling. generator won't work now. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we're leaving again. We're in the right place in the right time. It really should auto save on zone transition. That's just normal. Cause it auto saves there, right? That's fine. Doesn't auto save on the main entrance. Doesn't auto save to the world map. a pain. What a dumb quest bug. Also, what a dumb random encounter. I don't want to deal with a random encounter at this point of the game. I guess maybe some people do, but I really don't. Okay, saving here so we can have a save point that's not inside the dungeon. Hooray! We can't level up. Why can't we level up? Do we already level up? Is this the wrong save? Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. It is the wrong save. Okay, I'm just gonna redo this. I'll be right back. Alright, we're finally back. I did all the things. Took the pieces out, leveled up, got back to the forge camp, got the new quest, came all the way back down to the prison. Let's go see if we can repair these things and get out of here. The generator what? Yes, I know the generator work. It's broken. We broke it before we came here. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be really annoyed. There we go. The generator should be fixed. Okay, we, we got one in there. And we'll do the other one. We're good. Everything's fine. Why are we supposed to repair and activate these, though? I still don't know why we're doing this, the honestly. Should be fixed. We can activate it now. Let the mana flow. Why is my game chopping too? It's weird because it's like it's not, it's not a frame rate thing. My frames are still at like 144. They haven't moved. The game is just like, I don't want to do it anymore. Flow. Now we have to report to Hazrael. Okay, we did the thing. I don't know why we needed to do that that way. We literally had them running before we left. Yet here we are. Where's the elevator? Oh, there it is. Now we can leave and uh, maybe get a random encounter on the way home, but hopefully not. 
I don't think we need any more experience at this point. We could grind out level 12. I think level 12 is the max level for this DLC. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. And hopefully, that will be it. We can turn in this quest with Ferhadrabal. Maybe we can do both Hazdrabal and the Mask. Although if we have to choose between one or the other, I'm going to choose the Mask. I don't know why. I'm just with Marin Ving on this one. Marin Ving? Yeah, that sounds right. Did that rock just fall by itself? Maybe the game is about to break. Wouldn't surprise me, honestly, but that's okay. Quick saving, because I don't want to deal with this again. On our way. There's a death army coming at us, but we can hide, because I don't really want to fight it. Don't care. Not going to grind to level 12. Back to the forge camp. Turn this quest in. We'll go deal with the giants, and then we're out of here. I think we then we we're gonna go fight Ornettus, maybe. Fingers crossed. All right, Hasdrubal. I turned all the things. I don't know why. We found what Oronetis was hiding in the jungle. I'm all ears. A secret laboratory. He performs experiments on monsters to make them worse. Worse? His goals may or not be better. that simple, but still. I knew it. I received reports of these mutants all around. We thought you might like to take a look at the facilities. You were right. There's plenty to learn and loot in such a place. Well, it's pretty much rid of monsters, so you're free to go. That's very much appreciated. Yet it doesn't help us get back home. I may have a way, although it's very dangerous. What's that? One of my informants in Care Hifrid told me about a secret passage right into Orinetus' palace. And as for the Redeemers, he has a magical device that keeps them at bay. And with that thing, you could return to Masgard. We know enough. Strike true, friend. Clear skies, friends. All right. So that seems like a bad idea, but whatever. We did get a whole bunch of new things to craft, including a Doom Blade Greatsword, a Dragon Blade Sword. Can I make it? We gotta check. We we just have to. Dragon Blade Sword sounds amazing. Let's see what we. Oh, we can. We can absolutely craft it. It's a fire sword, it does, it's a plus two, no, it's a 2d6 damage and does fire. There's another one though I want to look at, crossbow and long sword, which is 1d8 cold, no screw that, we're going with the, going with the dragon blade, that sounds too cool for school. Although I would have loved to do that scimitar, we never found it, so not too concerned about it. I am so excited to try this out. I'm going to just walk back and forth until it's done. It's going to take a while. Uh, we need to go do the giants anyway, so let's go all the way to the Verdant Valley at least. No, I don't care about the spiders. Nope, just keep going. Let's go deal with the giants, tell them about their missing friend. Feels bad, but such is life, I guess. Oh man, I'm so excited for the sword. Gartok, I'm really sorry about your loss. Why is my game lagging so weirdly? Hey, Gartok. Little friends. We're sorry. We found your friend in the Maker's prison. He was dead. Oh, sad. Medication did that, sure. That is probably the case, yes. That wasn't really worth all that much experience. 
What are our quests like right now? Tyrant, Renewal, Escape the Valley. So that's really it. Okay. How's our crafting coming along? How do we even check that? We got four che- Okay, oh, this is going to take a hot minute to do. Alright, so what we're going to do- I can just rest here, I guess. You know what? I'm going to find a place to rest, like the outpost, and I'm just going to rest here until it's done. It's going to take me a minute, so we'll just do a quick jump cut. Alright, after a good amount of resting, the blade is 100% done. Let's do this thing. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. Dragon blade. Throwing that on. It's replacing others. Oh, it's not flaming. It looks like it's supposed to be on fire. Is it on fire in the screen? I am disappointed and my day is ruined. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. I mean, it turned out okay, like it's going to be a cool sword, but I thought it'd be on fire. I was really expecting it to be on fire. Look at the icon, it shows it being on fire. I'm somewhat disappointed, I have to say. What else can I make, I guess? Like a frostburn dagger. I can make a wand of thorns. A doom spear. What's a doom spear do? Plus two. Inflicts doom blade cut. Oh, cool. Doom blade reaper probably does something very similar. Yeah, doom blade cut. I mean, I was expecting a flaming sword. I'm slightly miffed. By the way, we're not going into some secret method of getting into the palace. We're going straight in, and we're going to murder him. To his face. With the mask. Do I just talk to the mask guy? Let's find out. Or do we just start an assault? Kill Ornettis is really our goal. Find Ornettis, kill him. Make sure you're strong enough. Alright. I guess it's time. Let's just go into the main place. We'll kill his guards on the way in. We're as good as we're gonna be. Like, we could go grind a level, but I'm definitely not keen on doing that. If we're... If we get just completely destroyed at level 11, we might go grind at level 12. Which would suck so much. But it's doable. You just gotta go walk back and forth. Until you get enough random encounters to do it. I'm gonna restart my game as soon as we get to this next zone. Or not, we're gonna start a fight. City guards time. There's several of them. Awesome, we started off our Come attack on. with a critical you miss. Shh, okay. Alright. Well, let's blast this one back. Oh, we have three! Nice. Solid amount of damage to the guard. That's eh, awesome. 23 damage. Actually, it wasn't that much, to be fair. Alright, let's see what happens with our new sword. Maybe it turns on fire when we're attacking. Crush em. I mean, it does just so much damage. We just did... Oh, we critically hit? Yeah, we did. So, with a critical hit, we did nine, or 29, 35, 39 damage in one hit. And with a normal attack, we did... 14. That wasn't even all the damage because we technically have needed to add Radiant to that as well. More guards coming in, of course. Man, I remember when that guard fight kicked our ass in the beginning of the game where there was like five guards. And yet, here we are. Just gonna murder our way through all these. With no real consideration. Except for their immeasurable death saves, which are dex saves, not death saves. 21 is not going to hit, sir. Neither is 17. Are you going to action surge? Yep, sure are. How about 26? Of course that'll hit, because you get to critically hit. A double critical hit. 
Wow. Take him out. Where's the nearest next guard? He's pretty far away. That was a pretty solid hit. I guess I could lay on hands myself. Once this takes its sweet time. There we go. I'm beginning to believe that the curse of time is on me when I have to wait for these things all the time. Alright, just wait here. He'll come to us. So they need 19 to hit. Or 20 to hit. They need 20 to hit. Saving up my spells as best as I can, because I don't want to waste any before we get to Ornettis, who is going to be by far the toughest target, probably. I mean, he's a mage, so depending on at what stage in preparation them you find the mage... Oh, we get better radiant damage, too. Sweet. Three dice instead of two. I'm pleased about this. Alrighty, let's just start murdering some people. I'm gonna move you. Actually, don't need to move, just shoot. That almost killed that guy. One, two, three. That one died, that one's near death. Good critical miss, exactly what I was hoping for. So in total damage we did 1627. He's in a second wind. No, he's not. He doesn't have a second wind left, I don't think. That one has a second wind though. Do you still have an action surge? I think you used your action surge actually. Not bad. 24 life left. This will definitely kill that one. Unless we roll a 5 and miss entirely. Never mind. 1, 2, 3. Not quite dead. Can we stop rolling twos? Thank you. All right, everyone's dead. Killed all of the guards. Let's move on up. Who are we missing? Our rogue. Okay, I'm gonna restart my game real quick and I'll be right back. Hopefully that fixed our jolting. Yeah, it seems much smoother now. I don't know, maybe there's like memory leak or something, which would be weird because I have a boatload of memory on this computer, but whatever. Another fight time. We get to fight Mallory finally, Brogu God. How tough is she? Ornettis is in this fight too. I just don't know where he is. He must be in his throne room, you would imagine, right? Yeah, he's way back in his throne room. Okay, well... Um... I don't know how tough she is. Do we start killing archers, I guess? No, because we can't friggin' hit anything. Critical miss again. City guards coming in. Maybe Ornes will come out here. Um, let's get Bless going. I think Bless is gonna be the best choice here. Just due to the sheer damage our other characters could theoretically do. They weren't rolling trash every time. Alright. 
Uh, I'm gonna go up to here because I really don't want to be on the ground floor fighting melee stuff. He said that there's a soldier up here too. Okay, Ordinus has almost 200 hit points. That's a good chunk. Maybe I should have come in the secret way. Oh, well, too late now. He did he move? Where is he? He did. He moved up. Okay. I can go fight him right now, but I think I need to go fight Malariel Brugrad first. I'm gonna save my smites, I think. She is on fire. Took off a good chunk of her life, but she is not dead. Not by any measure. Shield of Faith is on. We have 28 armor class. Should hopefully keep us alive. There's another soldier coming in from that direction. Dominion Archer took some force damage and is shooting back at our character. We'll deflect the first one. We're still going to take some damage a little bit. We're going to take way more because critical hits. Finaliel didn't move. Plus 8 to hit on Malarial. She's not actually that tough. Well, three attacks is pretty beefy. Also, that was a huge second win. Esfidel Greymus is coming in. Dominion Soldier is coming down to fight. That Dominion Soldier is coming at our Warlock. She's going to teleport somewhere else. Okay. We need to start shooting people that are in melee for sneak attack damage. Let's start shooting her. Why can we not roll anything? City guards coming in. City guards helping us. Wait, if some of the enemy switched sides. What is going on here? This fight has turned wonky. She passed her save, of course she did. Let's get a spiritual weapon out. At least we can do the bonus action attacks. The Dominion soldier has switched sides, so has the city guard. The Dominion Archer has switched sides. That one has not. It's still an enemy. That one it has not either. It's also still an enemy. <laughs> Missed with our weapon. So she's got at least 20 armor. Definitely half that damage. We're still going to take a chunk. Um, let's just get away from this situation. I'm just gonna get back down to here. Now that I know that I have allies in this fight, let's just get out of melee entirely. I don't think I can hit that archer back there. Oh, I can. Alright, we'll start smacking around that one. That was a solid hit. About half of its life is gone. Ornus is casting some spells and just killed that guy super fast. You're, this is a very frustrating... Actually, how much alarm? Wait. Oh, okay. We didn't roll very well. Um... Nothing we can do. He's an ally, Vando Klarn. Archer's shooting its own friend. Former friend, I guess. Ah. 
Nice, a couple good hits. Damn, that was a that was a shockingly good round for that soldier. Malaria being on fire is causing her a lot of problems. She doesn't know what to do. Oh, she's attacking, but she didn't have an attack. Something's going wonky again. Oh, well, let's let it play itself out. Okay, there we go. It's working again. For whatever reason, it decided to stop working briefly. I am a bit concerned about Oranetis, but we can finish off the enemies first before we go attack him. I think. How do you only have 25 hit points? I guess you're not a combat person. That Dominion Soldier's coming in. And I think it's our turn again. So, we shoot. Her. Almost killed her. She's very close to death now. Maybe the city guard will kill her. Although, it seems to be less good than the Dominion Soldier. Okay, we're gonna move up to here, I think. Just to get closer to the fight. Try and blast her, see if we can get a hit off. We did actually get a hit off, and she did die. So, spiritual weapon. Go smack Esvelad. For 11. Not bad. That archer took a huge hit from our warlock, but it's gonna shoot back. But at a rogue instead. Who has done like 7 damage to him. Don't know what Ornettis' armor class is, but it seems to be above 14. Close to death, oh, but not quite. Okay, Ornes is casting some. Hit the archer for nine, not too good. Esplad's gonna have a bad day. I'm moving up here to help the archer. Oh, there's another soldier there, that's fine. Still gonna go help the archer. Hello there. It's like a whole fight against Ornest happening without us there, because we haven't gotten into that arena yet. That's a fireball. Let's shift out of that. We took some damage. Who got hit? Everyone got a little bit hit, but I think our characters largely were okay. Yeah, you're not going to be able to hit me. Unless you roll a critical hit, of course. Like you always do. Good enough. Dominion soldiers are facing off. I need to go kill Finiel. Finiel. Mr. Sharpmind. Can't get the spiritual weapon in there yet. But I can move it over to here and hit back this way. That is not what I meant to do. Not even a little bit. Oh well. Oh, could you not? Damn healers. Oh my god, Ornest got hit. So he's lower than 25 armor class. We know that. Somewhere between 14 and 25, that's where his armor class is. One, two. Try and hit that one. 
The guy's dead. Good. Ornus is coming up this turn. Fighting off against that archer still. That archer's tanking a good chunk of his spells for us. It's nice of her to do. We can get into combat with Finalil. Let's just take the AOO. We'll be taking two AOOs, actually. There we go. We're not going to be able to hit this turn, but it's fine. Nineteen missed, so it's got, he's got at least twenty armor class. We know that now. I'm really sorry, Dominion Archer, for the curse of time that you're now going to die from, probably eventually. Let's give him a medium smite. He's on fire. He took a pretty hefty hit. Everyone's kind of hurt a little. I'm gonna get some healing going on down here. I do have a heal spell, which I think we might use on our, our uh, warlock there. Killed the guard, soldier, whatever. Moving in. Let's just get up here so we can shoot this guy, hopefully. We only have one heal spell. That's gonna suck. But at least we can get her back to life. She's back up. Let's move up our spiritual weapon. Because why not? And we'll move her up too. She'll heal herself a little bit later with cure wounds. We're almost at Ornettis. We're getting there anyways. Our Warlock is definitely going to move up to somewhere here. We're going to blast that little guy. That was a pretty solid hit. We did get hit by fire, but that's fine. Oh, let's give him a medium. There we go. That sh he should die from the next attack. Killed that guy. That's fireballs. Um, I'm not gonna be able to get into range of Ornettis next turn. I don't think. So we'll just wait here. What did he just cast? Why did you need to create a restoration? Nothing happened to you. Whatever. It's fine. Oh, okay, these guys are fighting that soldier. Who is on fire, I might add. I think the fire damage causes problems with the game for some reason. Oh no, the city guard, or no, the Dominion soldiers, actually that's worse. The Dominion soldier was better than the city guard, <laughs> by a lot. Alright, um... We need to even the field for this guy. And nothing's in melee range of anyone else anyways, so let's just help that out a little. And then we can dash back in. It's possible that she could win. If she gets a good hit, it's equally possible she won't do anything useful and will die. Half the damage on that. Alright. 
moving into the room where we're going to start a tower attack run soon. Let's try the archer. Spawning can work. It actually did, and did a fairly significant amount of damage, honestly. Spiritual weapon moves up. Everyone else has got pretty okay health. Actually, she's the only one that's really hurt. I'm going to move her back around the corner. Really help if she stopped rolling twos as well. Oh! Critical hit against Oranetis. Nice. Move up. I'm going to blast Oranetis, I think. Get a curse of time on him, hopefully. That's actually a pretty solid amount of damage. And it is Oranetis' turn now. What is he going to do? I don't know. I guess we'll find out really soon. It's a long fight. He's casting a spell. Fireball. Nope, fire bolt. Really? A cantrip? At this part of the fight? That's insane to me. Go straight for Arenas. I don't care about the archer. I'll take the dagger attack. I don't care. Short sword attack. Next turn is going to be Weight of Justice. That was a solid hit. That was a lot of necrotic damage. Shoot. Wait, why can't I shoot Ordinatus? Get up here. Shoot Ordinatus. I don't care about the archer too much. That was a lot of damage too. Look at that. Oh my god, the city guard did survive. The city guard made it through the fight. She is an MVP. Half the first attack. You never know what the second attack's gonna be. Although it was basically the same thing. Attack. Uh, you know what? Sure, why not? That was a solid amount of damage. She's on fire. Oh, she had to do all of her stuff. She's also- Oh, that was my weight of justice. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Why? What a gigantic waste of a spell. Slash power. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I am so disappointed now. Man. All right, fine. Hey, that Dominion Nurture is going to hit. Don't think it's going to die from the fire, though. How far can you move up? To here. That'll have to do. Oh no, she can't hit anything. Can she... Use a power like acceleration? No, there's no line of sight. Let's dash up to the top of the stairs, then. That's... Slightly annoying. Now can she still use her power of Accelerate? Is that a lot to do? Oh, he counterspelled. Oh, it's amazing. So that we still did get hit by 17 to product damage. And he ran away! Get back here. This weight of justice was meant for you, but I'm just gonna have to deal with you normally. Could we stop critically missing? I did what I could. Oh my god. It worked. Is that it? Is that the fight? It is the fight. We won. Oranetis is now dead. Looks like we did it. What do you think of that, Ving? It's my lord protector now. Even to you. What? Ha! <laughs> you should have seen your face. But please, address me with some respect. <laughs> I am the Lord Protector now, and I pledge that I will keep the people safe. 
the same title as Oronetis, that's a debatable choice. Thing. Touché. Well, people don't like big changes. About pledges. You said you'd come back to the Principality with us. True, and I wish I could do that. But after thinking it through, I'm afraid that's impossible. What? Why? I have responsibilities here in the valley. I can't just leave. There will be civil war. Of course. But you gave us your word. My word as a citizen, yes. But now I am a ruler. But you are free to return to Masgarth. And leave you as the new Lord Protector? Is that a problem? We're supposed to take you back. To whom? Are you not free to make your own decisions, as Miss Saye decrees? I forgot to tell you. I found out how Orinetis controlled armies of redeemers. We know that. He's taken their uh, queen as a sort of hostage. He has a scepter that will keep redeemers at bay. I'm pretty sure it's around here. Maybe in this very room. Oh, another one of those choices. Oh man, I'm <laughs> so torn now. This game is making me think about moral quandaries way too early in the morning. I mean, I kind of like him. I think he's a cool character. I don't think he's evil, although I'm not sure about that. And he is technically the new lawful leader. He hasn't done anything bad. I don't even know why he's wanted in Masgarth. I don't really... Didn't really flesh that out for us. We'll only tell the Church of Messiah. Actually, we'll tell the Church and the Principality. We'll tell the truth to the authorities. I'm sure the Princess will welcome diplomatic relations with the Valley. I hear there are still Soraks out there. And the Principality is on the brink of war. And please take my salutations to my disciple in Kerr Kiflin, Lerin Katpor. Then I guess it's time for us to go. Let's find this scepter and go home. Here's a little bit of a moral quandary. If we take this scepter, right, and uh, leave with it, will the redeemers come destroy the valley for, you know, Taking control of their queen or whatever. Oh, the scepter's right there. I see it. Oh, it's a door. Wait, that's not. A, that looks like a scepter, not a door. Scepter of Redeemer control. Return to the marshes is our next part of the mission. What's over here? I wonder. I know we're like vastly over it. I thought this was gonna be, you know, the end. What quest do we still have on the go? Alright, well, we just have to get out of the valley now. Where does this take us? Oh, out. Okay. Good enough. Let's leave. I don't think there's anything super important other than that. Well, we could just quickly go check in here one more time. I just want to see if there's any loot we missed. I don't know why we need loot. It's the end of the game. Does it even matter at this point? I mean, we could loot the body of that powerful warrior we fought. Who apparently doesn't have any magical items on her. Why does she have such a high armor class, then? I think that is an incorrect thing. Oh, well. Can we loot the whole place now? I don't know why I'm looting this whole place. It is of no importance. I might have already looted this earlier. Oh, there's a treasure room. Let's go loot that. Got some rocks. Great. Got some... Another beetle thing and a primed wand. A special cloak, a periapt of the Master Enchanter. Cool. Hexagonal ring, a bunch of other junk. 
There's another door here, too. Oh, it's a long rest. I'm missing units of food. Okay. Well, I think that's it. I think we're done here. I guess in the next... Yeah, we're just gonna... Let's just finish this thing. It's gotta be over pretty soon, right? It literally has to be. There's no way that there can be too much more of this game. We've killed the big bad. Can I just zone transition all the way down? No, of course not. Should have taken the secret passages. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's just get this done. Uh, entrance to the city. We got the scepter. We can control the redeemers. We're going to this camp. Actually, pausing for one sec. I'm not going to fight the hags. I'm going to do something real quick. I just want to check my inventory crafting. What did we get exactly? Ring of the Ambassador we can make, which gives us plus two on persuasion, and we can read all the things. Doesn't look like anything really else we can build. We did get some new items, though, and I'm kind of curious about them a little bit. Let's just reorder this. We have a magnificent longsword. We'll give to her. Where's the other things? There's a ring of some sort somewhere. There's a book. A wand. Another bag of holding. Another cloak. Some bracers. Cloak of the Ancient King, of course. Another cloak. Don't know if that's treasure, what kind of treasure that is. That's a ring of protection plus one. We're already wearing one of those. I don't think we can have two. All right, what we got? Let's see. We got... That's not the thing we're looking for. Wisdom score increase. Give that to her. Wand of Winter. Cloak of Protection plus one. Bracers of Defense. Plus two AC when not wearing armor or shield. Cloak of the Dandy, which is just 19 charisma. All right. Nothing I'm going to jump right on using, but... Oh, we can't do it here, I guess. Well, Ving is now the leader of a country. A very small country that is pretty gutted in terms of military. Could be easy to take over, but that's not really here nor there for us. It seems like it's been a long time since we got to this point. Right, we have to go through this tunnel. Oh, it's been ages since we've been here. This is where we fought the first apes. So long ago. I am a little bit nervous to see how this goes. I should probably use that book, too. 10 minute break. 24 hour break. Sorry, I was wrong. Spend a whole day right, in the, right before the Nest of Redeemers. Let's go in and see what happens. The moment of truth, I guess. Huh. Well, that's not terrifying at all. Look at how many of them there are. There's just so many of them. Like, that first fight would have been... I can't even imagine. Like, it would have been such a nightmare to have to do. So it was actually kind of scary just walking through there, even though they can't attack us. You finally leave the valley and return to the Principality of Masgarth. A new face is sitting on the throne, a masked face. A new religion is emerging in the valley. The hidden research complex is no longer in the hands of Orinetis, but who knows how its potential will be used in the future. Marin Ving is now King of the Valley and will soon talk to the Princess Kaiwood as equal.
Oh, that's kind of an abrupt end. Alright, cool. Well, that's the end of our playthrough. And the end of this series, I guess. We'll be starting a new series relatively soon. As I ask at the end of every series, if you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. And otherwise, I'll see you for the next one. We're going to be starting uh, two separate games. We're going to do Bravely Default 2, which is a roleplay. It's a JRPG uh, by Square Enix, I believe. You know what? We can check. I'm just going to just have it right here on the Steam list. Who made Bravely Default 2? Yeah, Square Enix. We're going to try that one. It's supposed to be a really good game. And then we're also going to play Arcanum um, of... It has a name. It has a weird name, actually. I just called Arcanum and Steam, but I know it's called Arcanum Steamworks and Magic something. Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic something. Anyways, it has a full name. Um, oh, Magic Obscura. There we go. I have installed the unofficial patch for it, so hopefully it'll be pretty stable. I don't know anything about it. It's a, it's a classic game that I never actually played when I was uh, younger, so it's going to be a brand new experience for me. I'm going to maybe check like a character guide. I've heard from several people that have played it that it's pretty easy to make your character unable to complete the game because if you build it wrong, it just won't be able to handle the situations that's required. So balance-wise, maybe there's some problems, but that's okay. I will uh, take a look at that. We'll get that started relatively soon as well. And other than that, I'll leave you guys here. Take care. See you all next time.